माननीय श्री मेधा रघुनाथा रेड्डी मेडन स्पीच प्लीज थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर ऑनरेबल चेयरमैन सर ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ बिहाफ ऑफ द पीपल ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश एंड वैसआरसीपी प्रेसिडेंट श्री जगन मोहन रेड्डी गारु आई एक्सटेंड आवर ग्रैटिट्यूड टू द ऑनरेबल प्रेसिडेंट फॉर एड्रेसिंग द पार्लियामेंट एंड आउटलाइनिंग द वेरियस अचीवमेंट्स प्रायोरिटीज एंड इनिशिएटिव्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट as we navigate our nation's developmental journey we found ourselves at a pivotal point that requires thoughtful reflection and strategic planning although the indian economy has experienced substantially growth over the past 10 years it is crucial to acknowledge that this progress brings its own set of challenges while we are growing at a substantial speed where we have become the fifth largest economy out gdp per capita is only 2500 dollars we stand 136th in the world in nominal terms and 125th in terms of purchasing power parity we need urgent steps to ensure that the fruits of development reach the poor and the needy i rise to speak on certain important issues in a national interest and also the people of andhra pradesh <coughs> nds achievements in the last 10 years is economic growth india has achieved remarkable economic growth over the past decade transforming itself into the fifth largest economy in the world this is significant leap from its position just 10 years ago when it was ranked 11th economically the country's rapid advancement can be attributed to several key factors including robust industrial development a thriving services sector and substantially foreign investments india's journey from 11th to 5th largest economy in the just a decade is a testament to its uh, really resilient economic policies dynamic sectors and the enterprising spirit of its people this growth sets as a promising foundation for india to potentially become one of the top 3 economies in the world in the coming years sir india growing stature internationally <coughs> india internationally stature has been steed steadily rising reflects in the growing influence in global economic and political arenas as the fifth largest economy in india is pivotal player in the g20 shaping key international economic policies its leadership in the in in initiatives like the international solar alliance underscores its commitment to global environmental sustainability india's active role in peace keeping missions and its strategic partnership with major global powers highlight in diplomatic pro prowess additionally india's thriving it sector and burgeoning startup eco ecosystem have cemented its reputation as a globally innovation hub this enhanced stature allows india to contribute significantly to global discourse to decision making process sir women reservation bill the 128th constitutionally amendment bill that was passed was probably the most historic and one of the biggest achievement of the india government for which i am thankful it represent the result of years of hard work and dedication by women from all corners of our nation it was significant milestone in bharat's journey towards gender parity and should be celebrated as such sir achievements of isro the indian space research organization has cons constantly made us 
proud with its remarkable achievements growing each year. A notable milestone was the Chandrayaan-3 mission when the spacecraft entered lunar orbit, making India the first country to touch down near the lunar south pole. This historic event showcased India's prowess in space exploration and highlighted ISRO's capability to execute complex missions. Sir. I urge the Honorable Prime Minister sir, to continue supporting ISRO with adequate funding to sustain its momentum financially backing will enable ISRO to undertaking, undertake ambition projects, develop new technology and maintain its global leadership. In space, research continuous support will also nurture young talent in space science, encouraging innovation and research. Investing is ISRO is investing in the future of our nation, ensuring India remains a key player in the global space arena. In conclusion, I implore the Honorable Prime Minister to recognize ISRO's critical role in our nation, development and continue providing the necessary support and funding. This will enable ISRO to achieve greater milestones and continue making significant contributions to science and technology, sir. Sir. You have concluded? Sir, two more minutes, two, three minutes. Please. Sir, in our Andhra Pradesh, our organized violence against OSRCP support is in Andhra Pradesh, sir. As now, there is a continuing organized violence against OSRCP supporters in Andhra Pradesh, particularly since the state assembly election results, the situation has escalated with various troubling incidents aimed at OSRCP supporters, sir. Since the counting day, TDP allies has staged violence violent rallies with the intention of intimidating OSRCP supporters and this... this law, law and order is a state subject, please keep in mind. Sir, sir, I conclude, sir. Please. I urge, I urge our central authorities to inter intervene and ensure justice and safety for all affect in communities, sir. <coughs> sir. Special category status for Andhra Pradesh, sir. The denial of special category status of Andhra Pradesh constitution, grave injustice and betrayal of trust by the central government. This denial violates constitutional and statutory provisions as well as assurance given by the highest authority of the country, including the sanity this August house, sir. The YSR Congress party has constantly reiterated its demand for the special category status since 2014. We shall continue to remain central government of this deceit, the discrepancy, discrepancy treatment towards Andhra Pradesh following every president address and budget presentation, sir. Former Chief Minister Y.S. Jagan Mohanadi has met with Honorable Prime Minister and Honorable Home Minister on numerous occasions, each time requesting this status for our State, sir. It has been 10 years since the bifurcation of Andhra Pradesh, the division carried out without the consent and consultation of the people. At that time, the, at that time, the then Prime Minister assured on the floor of the House at the uh, reduce, reduce residual state of Andhra Pradesh should be granted special category status for five years to compensate for the loss of revenue and resources, sir. This promise endorsed by the Union Cabinet and incorporated into the Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act 2014 remains unfulfilled by successive central governments despite repeated requests and protests from the people of government of Andhra Pradesh. Sir. This, the state would benefit from enhanced allocation of funds, a lower matching share of centrally sponsored schemes, tax concessions for industries, and preferential treatment in the resources allocation, the people of Andhra Pradesh deserve special category status, which is their legitimate right and expectation. Therefore, I urge the 
government to grant special status, category status of Andhra Pradesh without further delay. These measures will help the state achieve the long-term vision, physically self-reliance and inclusive of development. Sir, one more. Sir, the issue, media suppression in Andhra Pradesh, sir. Ban on TV channels. Speaker, sir, the Delhi High Court on Monday, June 24th, 2024, ruled various TV operators in Andhra Pradesh to start broadcasting. Please, talking. please, no subjudice issue, please. Please, no. Sir, I conclude, sir. Please, come on. Sir, under the estimate of leadership of Vice Jagan Mohan Reddy, Andhra Pradesh had made substantially progress of forthcoming its maritime logistics capabilities, the state of concerted efforts to enhance the maritime infrastructure are evidenced by the rapid construction of four new ports and significant increase of shipment from the existing six ports, sir. The Ramayam Patna, Machili Patna, Molpeta and Kakinada Gateway ports were being developed and escalated pace with the estimated investment of 16,000 crores, sir. These with new ports are projected to augment on the state cargo handling capacity of 110 million tons. Furthermore, these infrastructure advancements are expected to create employment of opportunities for 75,000 individuals, both directly and indirectly, hereby contributing significantly to the state economic growth of the job market, sir. The, in addition, the port development, this state has undertaken the construction of fishing harbors and fish landing centers to, to the livelihood of fishermen, the 10 fishing harbors and 6 uh, fish landing centers, sir. The development of these ports and fishing facilities to poise to drive the substantial economic growth, the faster re regional development and enhance the state of logistical efficiency, these projects are integral to the broader the strategy of the transforming Andhra Pradesh into the maritime powerhouse, leveraging the extensive Please, force please flight. conclude, Mr. Reddy, now. Sir, sir. The central government's backing will also serve the testament to its commitment, regional development and equitable growth across the state, sir, by force, fostering the collaboration approach. We can achieve the shared goal, making Andhra Pradesh a leading hub for the Maritime trade for the logistics in India, sir. Thank you, sir. With these observations, I thank, thank the Honorable President for the address, sir. Thank, thank you, you sir. Honorable Sri Medha Reddy ji.